Hi everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm doing a video today, transition into spring 2022. Um, this sort of stemmed from my, uh, you know, we changed catalogs February 1st from fall and winter to spring and summer. And I wanted to order from the spring and summer catalog, but it was February and it just didn't feel spring enough for a lot of the scents there. So I wasn't sure what to order. Then I looked at my fall winter stash and I had some bars that are very autumn focused, you know, Christmas season focused. Those weren't going to do. Um, there were some that I could carry forward, but um, I, anyway, I needed to, to sort of come up with a list of things that I think I could warm from February, say, through till Easter. So I went into my consulting kit and took the testers out for fall, uh, spring and summer, rather, and sniffed through them all and made a list, ordered those bars, pulled out the bars that I think I'm gonna take into this little transition period, and um, now I'm making a video. <laughs> sure, now these are just my, my preferences, my opinions. I mean, some of my friends that live in the Southern States uh, they, their weather is static and they may not be seasonal melters and they might just warm whatever they feel like it because their weather doesn't change or I have, you know, sensi friends in Australia whose seasons are actually flipped from ours. So what I'm sharing might not be helpful at all. Um, so anyway, this is just basically for me, but I mean, I live in Canada in Southern Alberta and although we're in a pretty mild area for weather, um, you know, it's still dicey. I mean, right now there's no snow, it's warm. You can go out in a jean jacket some days, but you can also wake up to a blanket of snow or some lots of frost. So it's an, it's an awkward <laughs> period of time. Spring does not start February 1st here. So anyway, I wanted to share that and I'm going to uh, quickly go over some of the things that are from the previous catalog. I'm not gonna dwell on, you know, too much on scents. I've also been collecting for a couple of years now recipes, um, ideas. I stick them in a little book uh, of blends. And so I might share some of those as part of this because that helps you being, it helps to be able to use certain bars if you can, you know, come up with a, a mix. So anyway, I'll get started. Um, the very first thing that I'm going to, uh, an obvious, <laughs> A thing that I've got carrying forward is the bakery. And most of you know, uh, Sensi did away with all of the bakery that traditionally carried over from season to season. I'm not sure why they did that, but I put them all in my club and I stocked up because they're a really big part. I love bakery. It's one of my favorite um, categories. Um, and I use them a lot, even just to blend or tap things down. So it, you know, I don't know why they did it, but they did. So. <laughs> I've got sugar cookie, in, it's in my club. I've got cinnamon buttercream stocked up, it's in my club, butter pecan. I won't say that for everyone, <laughs> but they're all in my club. Uh, apple butter frosting, almond croissant, um, graham cracker crunch, um, hug in a mug. This is a great all year, rainy day in June scent. Um, I'm also going to pull in um, some bars that uh, are, I consider bakery, like birthday wishes. This was a moments by moments. I stocked up on this one. I'm also including, oops, sorry, oats and honey. This was a bring back my bar. I have that in my club. And um, simply vanilla, which was also a bring back my bar, and I have that in my club. I'm also including in some of the recipes and the consideration for this list uh, two, of, uh, uh, two other Bring Back My Bars, Pink Haze and Sugar, and these are sort of confectionery scents, sweet, you know, uh, fondant, marshmallow, you know, with some berries and prettiness, and they go well with a lot of these summer scents that are um, slightly floral. So I'm going to include those. The bars, I've also um, included Blueberry Rush and Shimmer. And uh, I have a recipe for this one, Aussie Plum, that I'll share. 
and my home. My home is floral and spice. Not too much spice, not too much floral. And some people think it's boring or not that interesting, but I really liked it. So this will also be a transition bar for me. Uh, out of the uh, fall winter catalog, things that I am um, going to continue to warm. Pumpkin cinnamon swirl. This is just like a cinnamon bun. It's, it says pumpkin, but it doesn't scream pumpkin. It's like a drizzle of icing on a cinnamon bun. Bright Cider Life, which is a cider, um, sp mild spices, an apple slice. It says pumpkin in there as well, but again, it smells like a bakery. My husband, I warmed this the other day and he thought I was baking something. So that's Bright Cider Life. Uh, caramel Apple Craze, which is just like a delicious, like a fresh mac apple with a caramel coating. It's really lovely, it, great summer scent. Um, I'm excited for my granddaughters to smell this one. Spiced Ember Glow. Uh, this is an apple scent. It has a smoked apple. It has uh, cinnamon embers and vanilla. And it's a very nice, cozy, almost like a cabin, a cozy cabin scent. It's um, I warm it in my family room. We're still turning the fireplace on down there. so. This is a great scent. Um, I'll be warming that through this transition. I I have to include maple apple bourbon. I thought to myself, hey, we uh, make pancakes and ma maple syrup in, in March. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna warm this. This is a kitchen scent for me anyway, but if I want it, if I think it's a little too rich for you know the day, say the weather's nice, I'll tap it down a bit, maybe add a uh, Johnny Appleseed or something. So. That's in my list. Winterberry apple tea, which could almost be an all year round scent for me. This is uh, a tea, apple, honey, um, cranberry, cranberry, yes. And it's a delicious, it's a delicious one. So I'll be warming that. Um, Arctic Kiss, Arctic Kiss, I, sm I was just smelling at Atlantic Air. It's, they're very similar. This to me is a palate cleanser for my house. When I want to kind of cut through all of the, you know, flu flu, and I want want it fresh, I'll warm this. I really like it, and it's like fresh air and vanilla clouds. Um, it's not doesn't it's not necessarily winter for me, so I'm gonna warm that. Uh, cashmere and corduroy. I just did something about this in my previous video. It's not. I don't know why they did away with this. It's a lovely uh, cashmere, Sicilian bergamot. Um, cashmere sandalwood vanilla it's very very nice and um around the campfire uh, i warm this camping i've said that quite a few times now but i also have a recipe and i'm going to warm it in this transition and it is uh around the campfire with pink haze i haven't tried it ever it's i've been looking at it but I, of course i I was using my pink haze sparingly before I got it back and bring back my bars and put it in my club. So I'm gonna try this because this has got like a, you know, marshmallow fondant. This has some marshmallow in the background. I think it might be really cool. So I'm gonna try that. So that's um, that's my haul from, or my, my selection from the fall winter. I'm also gonna conclude um, vanilla blackberry. I'm just warming this in my living room right now and this is uh, blackberry, amber, and vanilla and the amber is lovely. It's got a almost a musky sort of incense-y smell but it does have the blackberry. It's really nice. I, I'm loving it so I'm going to order myself some more bars of that and um, I decided not to, in, I want to, I've saved these for summer. This is sun kiss berry and this is um, bamboo, sun kiss or Sunburst Bamboo, and these are both scent of the month for January, February. This is punch, like a fruit punch, and this I haven't worn, but my sister and I both sniffed it the other day. It came in my whiff box and decided that it um, it smells too summery, so I'm gonna park those for the summer. And a uh, couple more bars that I'm gonna warm in this transition. Um, Frozen, Fearless by Nature. This isn't available now, but it does come back. Um, so this is a wildflower sage wood scent quite nice for this time of year still. I'm gonna do uh, the three queens. Um, just one bite, this is apple and molasses. It's a little heavy, I'm not sure, but
but I might tap it down with some Johnny Appleseed uh, and warm that. And um, I just did Mistress of Evil, Melissafent, Melissafent. Oh, I, I give up. Uh, I just did this the other day, and this is Plum, um, Gardenia Plum and Blood Orange, and um, it was really nice. It's a great plum scent, and it's got that little bit of floral in it, so it just, it doesn't read heavy, you know, fall necessarily. It, it, it's very nice. Uh, I liked it quite a bit. And then Ursula, Four Unfortunate Souls, and this is berries. What kind of berries? Raspberry, blackberry, goji berry, and vanilla. And this is comes off a little bitter for me. I'll 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 blend this with uh with a maybe vanilla waves or something. So those are coming into the transition as well. So the rest of the bars are um, from the catalog. I'll start by saying I'm not including any like clothesline, any laundry type scents or. Uh, fresh scents like that or cotton scents like magnolia linen, pink cotton, lavender cotton, jammy thyme, clothesline, any of those. Uh, those are all scents that I use all the time. I always have them handy. I warm them in my bedroom. I just did lavender cotton in my bedroom. I use them in my laundry room. Um, I'm not counting those in this. Those are part of my year to year to year sort of, you know, sensey life. So those are are part of my plan. I'm just not going to reference them. Um, and then there are some scents in here that I, I stayed away from, like pineapple, uh, certain lemons, um, you know, papaya, coconut, anything that was too floral. Like I will do some floral, but it has to be closer to summer for me. So those sort of scents, I just skipped over them. And this is what I have left. So let me get to it. Um, I'm going to start with Fruity. Uh, the first one is Apple Teeny Splash. This is a new bar. Um, it's green apple and um, pear, Nashi pear. Nashi pear is kind of like a hard pear. It almost it eats like an apple almost. Uh, I, on cold, I, I haven't warmed it. I've never warmed it. I, on cold, it's not, I'm not a fan. I might have to mix this with something, but I wanted to try it, so it's making the transition to try. Uh, Peach Nectar. Uh, this is a um, a bar. It's got a musk note. It's peach, and I think there's freesia. Yeah, freesia in there, and um, a musk note, which I really like. Um, I have a recipe for this with uh, apricot vanilla and um, cinnamon vanilla. They call it peach cobbler. I haven't tried it, but I'm going to try it this year. Um, and I like apricot vanilla. It's a vanilla apricot and like a vanilla ice cream. I warmed this last year. This actually is from last year still in my kitchen and um, I really like it and it's something that I can warm now and if I want I could add, with this one I'll, I can add some you know some kind of vanilla simply vanilla if I want to you know boost it up or something. So those are both made it very bright which is uh, one of my favorites. And it's um, blue raspberry, blue raspberry, clementine, and sugar plum. And I think it's the sugar plum. It makes it a little sweeter, brings it a little bit of richness. So it doesn't just smell like blueberry or berry. Um, I used the scent circle in this last year. I really, really liked it. I'm going to get some more this year. And if it's in a pod, I'll get it. I haven't checked to see. Anyway, this is really good. And this would blend with other things as well. It might even do well with blueberry rush. I might, you know try them together um, see what I think um, pink rhubarb sugar now this is a new bar too haven't warmed it threw it in here uh, I'm not sold on it. it smells very sugary you might be able to warm this and maybe warm it with sugar I think it needs a little something it smells a bit like sweet tart um, we'll see I included it because I wasn't sure and it I think I could actually make a recipe with this. Um, prickly pear and agave. Uh, I've never warmed this one, um, but it smells lovely. Um, what is it? Uh, prickly pear, agave, and sheer petals. And I looked up what prickly pear was. It kind of looks like a cactus pear. It's a non-sweet pear. That's what they said. And agave is a syrup. It's a very sweet, it's a sweetener syrup. 
So, but it does smell very nice, kind of green, a little teeny bit floral. Um, and I think it was Elizabeth that mentioned it in one of her um, videos that it's a nice spring scent. So I'm giving that one a try. Sea salt and avocado. This is a staple. It's in the catalog all year round. It's, um, and it's an, or it's a, it has avocado in it. It has, um, sea salt, Valencia, and avocado, but it just smells green and fresh. And I'm going to mix that with, uh, sun-kissed citrus as well. If I want to take this and mix that, sort of make it a creamy orange, I'm going to use that. Um, sugared strawberry. Now this one, I was kind of poo-pooed it last summer. I bought a bar and I'm, hmm, cause strawberry for me is, you know, hmm. But I ordered, I thought I'm gonna order it because I have a couple of recipes for this one and I really kind of like it on cold again. I'm not sure what I, what I didn't like about it. But anyway, um, the recipe I have for this, you can do uh, uh, sugared strawberry with um, black raspberry vanilla. That's a recipe I have and I'm gonna be trying. It can also do it with uh, cinnamon buttercream. That's, that would be almost like, I think the, the mascarpone and the cinnamon buttercream with the strawberry would almost do kind of like a milkshake-y scent. Um, it also is good with um, mocha doodle, chocolate strawberry. So those are all recipes I'm gonna try this with, but I'm kind of liking it. And then in the summer, I could mix this with like a lemon or something. So this is, uh, oh, I think I'm gonna enjoy that. Um, but the, the, another one is black raspberry vanilla, and this has a ton of, uh, a ton of recipes. I have, I, I have warmed it with uh, sun-kissed citrus before, and it, also can be warmed with mocha doodle. I think it might be okay with apple teeny. That might help that because I'm not really a big fan. This has got a tart berry and it's more berry than a, uh, vanilla. It's not very vanilla-y for me. So I add vanilla when I warm it. Uh, one of the things I did try, it's going in my office right now, is uh, black raspberry vanilla with Amazon rain. And the name of the mix is purple rain. <laughs> which I thought was kind of cute. And so Amazon is a year round staple and it is orange, um, coconut milk, jasmine, sorry, what else here? Melon. Anyway, I mixed that and it smells great. So there you go. So black raspberry vanilla is a good staple. It, I prefer it mixed though. And this one, um, smells great with it and this is in the catalog year round so I thought for sure it'd be a good transition um, that's actually a uh, fresh scent but and summer moonlight this is a new one and what is the scent for that oh it's nice strawberry sweet pea and sandalwood oh this smells so pretty and I think I can warm this like that but I wonder if you added sugared strawberry to that what would happen or if you added like a creamy vanilla or even simply vanilla yeah, I'm gonna give that a try. Anyway, that's lovely. I, I really like that so far. I'm not sure of strength. I haven't warmed it ever, but okay. And now we're gonna do citrus. And I pulled a couple. Um, one of them is squeeze the day. And uh, when I was commenting on bakery, um, Natasha in Australia mentioned that when she wants to do bakery and it's starting to get warm where she is and she doesn't, you know, the bakery maybe is a little too much for the, the hot temperature. She mixes it with a lemon or a citrus. So I am going to do that. I brought, I like squeeze the day. It's got a vanilla note in it. It's a little bit creamier. I like lemon sorbet too, uh, in the summer, but this is a, a creamier lemon for me, maybe a little more artificial than real, but it's very nice. I like it. So I'm going to pull that and mix that with a bakery for sure and then uh, I blue grotto and this is like a uh, tropical citrus and bite botanicals and it's uh, it's a good it's a good uh, scent my husband I warmed this in his man cave and it was in the catalog in the winter I think you could mix this with any bakery 
Um, I don't ex have an actual recipe. Well, I, I think I would I would warm this with sun-kissed citrus and maybe or maybe something sweet like a bakery, like I said, or even I'm curious if I could do pink haze and blue grotto. So that made the that made the um, transition, and then um, there's tangerine creamsicle, which I consider almost a bakery. I used this in my kitchen last year as uh, as a bakery, and it is just like tangerine, uh, mango, and vanilla cream, but it smells mostly the cream, the sweet cream smell, and um, I'll warm it straight like this, but I'll also mix it with uh, bakery for sure, and I might, if I want to, I can maybe blend it with, um, you know, something lemon or you know, ramp up the orange with squeeze a day. So that made the transition. Get those out of the way. Um, next is floral. Not much in here. I mean, there are some florals I'm going to order in the summer for sure, but for this period of time, there's only two that I selected. I mean, I would, Luna is appropriate for this time, but I don't, I, ha I don't order Luna very often. I find it a bedroom scent for me. I have quite a few that I like better and it's very light. From my for my nose so I don't usually get it and uh, the rest of the scents I typically um, will order in the summer but I did want to try here come the sun flowers now I thought I didn't like this and I think I was mixing it up with sun soap petals um, this one here is petals fruity musk and strawberry again strawberry so that you know piqued my interest because I could make a recipe add a bit more strawberry to this. Uh, this I think would be, it's got a fruity musk, which I think would tap down the fruit a bit and I could add it to bakery. This would be nice. And the floral isn't super strong, the petals. So it smells like it may, might be a nice transition and add a little bit of floral to my transition. And the other one that I really like, I used it last summer, is summer holiday. Mm, this is lovely. Yes. And it is plumeria, tiger lily, orange, vanilla, and amber. Yeah, and it is it is very lovely. And um, I do have a, uh, do I have a recipe for this? Ah, yes, tangerine creamsicle and or sun-kissed citrus. So I'll be trying that. And oh, I actually noticed here, here come the sunflower. I don't know if I said this already. Pink haze with that. Add a bit of confectionery to that. Anyway, those are my florals that I want to transition with. Where am I at? Ooh, 22 minutes. I better hurry. Sorry, you guys. Um, fresh. Well, fresh uh, aloe water and cucumber. That's in the catalog all year round. So it is, um, you know, it's a staple. And um, actually, there's a recipe for that. Uh, another fresh is Atlantic Air. And this one is so nice. Um, ocean sea salt and orchid. Mm, it's just like it's very fresh. It's very nice. I'm loving that. That's that's a pa palate cleanser as well for the house. But I have a recipe for these two together, so I'll be trying that. And aloe water and cucumber um, is uh, aloe water, cucumber peel, pond frond, and pineapple nectar. But I don't really smell pineapple. It doesn't smell fruity to me. I think it just takes the grain and it makes it sweeter. Anyway, very nice. Um, what else have I got in fresh? That's where all the scents that I mentioned in the you know um, laundry um, cotton front are in that. Oh, I've already talked about Amazon Rain, and that's in the fresh. No, that's fruity. No. Wait a minute, sorry. Oh, no, it's fresh, pardon me. <laughs> As I said, not scripted. <laughs> um, another scent that I have is French lavender. And I haven't tried that, and I had some great, mm, I love it. Uh, it's just French lavender, it's very herbal. And I like it a lot, cold, anyway. Um, and I have a couple recipes, I've never done them. French lavender with vanilla buttercream, French lavender with sugar. Who'd enough? Who'd have thought? Uh, French lavender with jammy thyme. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix that. But I think I'm gonna like it just on its own too. It's lovely. I'm thrilled. 
anyway, I don't know why I never tried it. Anyway, and the next one is Daydream. What is this? Daydream Oasis. Oh, sorry. And this is Sweet Melon, Pear Leaf, and Water Lily. And it smells very pretty. And I thought, well, this would be a pretty scent. This doesn't distinctly scent. It does have a little bit of a lily, water lily kind of green note. And the melon is very, very faint. But it's very nice. And so I'm looking forward to warming that. I might be able to, I, it's new, so there, there aren't any recipes out, but I'll experiment. Anyway, that's that. And now I'm at the bakery for summer. Oh no, pardon me, the woods. Woods, can't forget that. Uh, my favorite wood for the summer is Bonfire Beach, and I'm bringing this out for the transition. Because I warmed this, I was, uh, uh, my sister and I stayed in a hotel uh, last, in 2021, can't remember, it was in Calgary. And um, we took this with a warmer for our room, of course. And it was so lovely. And it's got a marshmallow, a very, very, very faint kind of fire smell, but mostly marshmallow. What's in it? Um, oh, I didn't write the scent notes. Hang on, hang on. Sorry. Again, not scripted. <laughs> uh, toasted marshmallow, white flint, sandalwood, salty Sierra. I don't get a lot of salty Sierra. It's a very perfumey, lovely scent. And But I had, I wanted to bring it out early. I love it in the summer, but I wanted to bring it out early because I have some good recipes in my list. This, Bonfire Beach and French Lavender, Bonfire Beach and Coastal Sunset, which is the next bar I'm gonna talk about, and Bonfire Beach and Atlantic Air. So, a Coastal Sunset. And Coastal Sunset is lovely. I had this last year. It is coconut, sandalwood, and amber. And it's just a lovely, um, creamy scent. And I have a recipe that I did last year, and that was uh, Coastal Sunset and Vanilla Waves. And uh, another suggestion out there in, in uh, Scentsy Mix land is um, Coastal Sunset and Shimmer. So I'm gonna give that a try. So I think this will be a nice transition. It smells lighter, you know, springy, but it doesn't, you know, because it's got the sound of wood, it's grounded. And then I also have in the woods, the new bar, um, white amber antique, and I ordered it. I mean, it's a masculine scent. I don't mind it though. I'm not a big on masculine scents. I'll have to see. I let my husband smell it. He thought he'd like it in his man cave. So this will probably be there, but it's got a teak scent, a wood scent. And if I could, I might even try it with, um, around the campfire see how that does because um yeah anyway i some of the new bars i threw in here because i wanted to try them and see and i might let my sister try this one too and see what she thinks anyway that's in there so that's the woods um i wanted to uh and now i'm going to do the bakery and uh in my bakery i have uh, blueberry cheesecake which <laughs> Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But I have a lot of recipes for blueberry cheesecake, so I bought a bar. And some of my recipes, of course, the logical one would be blueberry cheesecake and graham cracker crunch. That would be a good one. Blueberry cheesecake and sun-kissed citrus. That's, I haven't tried that recipe, but that's one of them. Uh, blueberry cheesecake and vanilla butter cream. If you wanna tap down the cheesy note, add a more vanilla. Um, blueberry cheesecake and vanilla and welcome home. That was a recipe I've never tried, but I love welcome home. So I'm going to give that a try and blueberry cheesecake and squeeze the day that adds an element of, you know, like a lemon cheesecake. And I would do actually blueberry cheesecake, lemon, squeeze the day, and then throw in blueberry rush and see how that works. So Anyway, that is blueberry cheesecake. Uh, what else from there? I did get mocha doodle, of course, and mocha doodle, there's so many um, great mixers you can mix this with. I'm gonna actually try it with uh, 
cinnamon vanilla. Cinnamon vanilla is another summer bakery, which I'm going to start using. I used it a lot last summer. Both these are great transition bars because they have an element of that spicy warmth. Um, and I also have pink sugar berry mint, which I've warmed. I had it in my club. I uh, had it in my club all winter. Got it all winter. Warmed it all winter. It definitely is a transition. Uh, but I think I could warm this and add some, you know, some of the fruity scents with it. Maybe just like I would be curious about this with um, maybe some sort of apricot vanilla, some bakery. But by itself, it's a great scent. So I brought that in, of course. Uh, and the new bar, Clementine Cupcake. Um, this is a bakery, and it smells like cake. I haven't warmed it, but this will be a delicious. It'll probably be good in the in the kitchen. Uh, Clementine is orange, um, so I'll probably use this straight up in a warmer in my kitchen. I'll try that. And then, of course, the staple Vanilla Waves, which mixes with a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, I think I did this last year, uh, if I remember correctly, is uh, pink sugar berry mint and vanilla waves. So uh, I'll try that again next year. And then of course the spice category, which I've already sort of showed you both the items and the, both of them are appropriate for a transition. Anyway, <laughs> that was a big schmoz, eh? Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my transition. I think those bars will all work. Um, the, my favorites from the catalog, spring and summer, I'll reorder. Some of them may be duds, some of the new scents that I haven't tried before. Um, there are a lot of scents in the spring and summer catalog that I have not tried. I just realized looking, I mean, I think they're a little too summery for me right now, some of them, but I'm going to make a point of trying more bars and seeing what I think because um, I think I've limited myself a bit. And so anyway, I'm gonna wait till Easter and then I'm gonna do another order from the catalog as far as bars go. But I will be restocking these and these will be coming in my empties videos and um, see what I can come up with. Oh, another one, just, a, just a, one last thing. I had, didn't warm this. This is Pink Poinsettia in uh, the winter. I thought it was, I didn't think it was Christmassy at all, and I just tucked it away. And it is just uh, plum blackberry and pomegranate. So this will be a good transition too. I'm gonna warm that, and I probably will mix it, because I, when I did the few bars that I did warm and sampled out, I thought it was kind of bland, but we'll see. Anyway, that's that, girls, guys. Hope it was helpful. It was helpful for me, and I was just blabbing through the Oh, thing. <laughs> I got a big mess here. But anyway, the point of it is, if you aren't sure what to order and these are helpful at all, <laughs> give them a try. Um, I'll, I'll follow up with a more detailed and helpful review when I am doing my empties videos, <laughs> I promise. Anyway, I hope that helped. Um, I'm excited actually now. It, th that was an exercise and it made me excited to um, to start warming, you know, from the spring and summer catalog. And I'm going to order uh, a warmer and and then a couple warmers for my uh, girl, couple people, my girl gang, and so, and a few pods for spring and summer. So I'll have some orders coming in in a bit. Anyway, I really appreciate you watching. Um, and thanks again. I want to thank everybody that commented yesterday about Kevin, my husband, in his surgery. He, he's, he's fine. He's done, he came through with flying colors. I mean, some of the, some of the people in there, um, in this, on this floor where they do a lot of these hip and knee surgeries, um, are in bad shape, like, you know, physically. Uh, Kevin is a, you know, trim guy and, you know, has kept his, his figure so he he rebounded really quickly so he's walking on crutches now and will be not able to drive for a month and that sort of thing but anyway so it all went well anyway thank you so much for watching please subscribe um sorry this was over 30 minutes but it was there was so much to cover and um come back and watch again 
and thanks so much for your support and I guess I'm signing off now. See you later.